and our special services earlier at Straight Farm Nigeria. Today we are bringing you to Breeder Snails. Remember, you want to talk about uh, fish ponds, uh, farm setup, poultry farm, um, uh, snail farming, pigry, and several kinds of farm. That is all we are into. So, in case you are just popping to our YouTube channel, please subscribe and give us smash the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel in order for you to know a lot about uh, farm setup. Things that we are talking about on snail, farm, fish, poultry, different kinds of things. That is what we are talking about. This is just a short video. Should in case you want snail, any part of the world you are, you want it dry, you want it fresh, you want it live. Why not? All you know, all you need to do is to call me on my uh, number 080-3692-5718. If you are not in Nigeria, remember to put our country code plus 2348036926718. Today we are just talking about breeder snail. We just want to give you a short clip about breeder snails. Uh, the grass snails, the hashlings, and others. But we just want to specify or give it a, a, a little distinction of the snails. These are Ashantina marginata. These are the grass snails. But there are some I want to bring out specifically. This is uh, Ashantina foliaca. This snail is usually long, but it's not. It doesn't grow big like that Ashantina marginata ovum. Why we also have Ashantina marginata suturalis, but that one is not found in the western region. But this is that one is found in southern region of Nigeria, like Wari, Bayesa, Rivers, those south south region. That is where you're going to see Ashantina marginata suturalis. But if you want to see, uh, get Ashantina marginata ovum, you get it in the western part, like the Ogun State, the uh, Ondo, and some parts of uh, Benin, like. Uh, uh, let's say a rare, I um, know for some part of it, like, um, what do they call that part of Benin? Um, um, what do they call that place now? I've forgotten the name of that particular place. Let me think if I remember. Ubogi, I have, you go to Ubogi region, is in Edo State, is, but it's close to Sofi or it's close to Ondo State, that particular place. You are still going to see Ashantina Marginata. Uh, Ashantina marginata ovum. But today I just want to give a very distinguished uh, difference between Ashantina marginata ovum and Ashantina marginata, uh, uh, Ashantina foliaca. Sorry. Foliaca is usually long. I just saw foliaca now. Where is it? Uh, it's, it's very long. It, uh -huh. This is Ashantina foliaca. Did you see how long it is? This particular one does not grow big. If you are going to uh, farm setup, if you are going to growing of snails, we don't advise you to rear this Ashantina marginata, but it doesn't grow big. If you want to grow, if you want to grow Ashantina, if you want to grow snails on greenhouses, on on pen or whatever you want to rear snail, I will advise you rear Ashantina marginata over Ashantina marginata suturalis. We have a lot of them here. These are little breeder snails. There are so much. I hope you can see me. On this project, so should in case you want to breed or start up farm, you want to uh, do your farm setup. We we'll do the greenhouse, we we'll do the uh, concrete house. Anyone you want to do for you. But today we're just talking about snails. Like this one is Ashantina marginata uh, oven. Let me look for oven for you. Oh, her oven snail. Look at the oven snail. You can see how it is. Oven snail. But this is just the baby ones, the growers. So, should in case you want to do farm again, as I said, you want to go into snail farming, please, I will advise you rare Ashantina marginata ovum or Ashantina marginata suturalis. Don't use this, don't grow Ashantina for liaka, but you can grow it probably for special demand. Maybe somebody wants it or you feel like getting it. That's when you grow this one. This one doesn't grow big. Doesn't grow big. So, should in case you want to rear or oh, hey, finally, some persons have been calling me and asking me, is it good to crossbreed all of them, grow them together? My advice specifically is no. For me, I prefer growing one specific one in a particular place. Like, uh, if I want to grow Ashantina marginata, I grow only Ashantina marginata suturalis. If I want to grow Ashantina marginata oven, I can grow that one differently. Oh, I'm scared. I thought it's something. <laughs> So, uh, anywhere you want to grow, I prefer you grow them differently. But if you want to join them together, if you crossbreed Ashantina marginata ovum and Ashantina marginata suturalis, if you crossbreed them, you are going to get something like, uh, it will not be too big, it will not be too small, but it's going to be okay. You can see like this one, now we are cross, we crossbreeded Ashantina marginata uh, suturalis uh, ovum, 
Ashantina Majina and uh, Ashantina Fuliaka will cross bring them together. You can see we are getting this type of Ashantina Majinata uh, Ashantina Majinata uh, over now. We are still getting Ashantina Foliaka. Like this is a cross breed. We had Ashantina Foliaka. This one is going to grow like big, but it will not be as big as oven snails. Look at it. They are growing. They are coming now. They are making. They are growing as if they are going to get big. I pray they will get very big, but you cannot compare Ashantina Marginata oven to Ashantina Foliaka. You cannot. Uh, you cannot. Uh, uh, both of them will not grow big, but you are going to see a little bit different. So this one, we did a cross bit to know what is happening. Where by the time we cross bit them, what we cross bit them, we we'll discover the discovery specifically is that the uh, the uh, high hybrid we are getting from Ashantina Marginata oven and uh, Ashantina Foliaca. The hybrid we are getting, we are getting them big. Some of them are big, some of them are small. They are having irrational sizes. You can see them. Are you seeing them here? Are you seeing they are not growing the same some are getting big some are getting small so this is just a, uh, a, a little research we've just done so what we are saying is that when you cross big ashantina foliaca with ashantina marginata oval you get a species that looks that has a longer uh tip and it will get big but it's not as big as the original ashantina marginata oval but you have something like this. This is the results you have. You have them getting longer, gets are getting bigger. So that is this, uh, what we are getting from the research. So should in case you want to start off a uh, snake farm, please do well to call us our number 08036923718. If you are not in Nigeria, you might as well put our country code plus 23480362718 so that we can help you build the greenhouse. We can bring in the snakes for you. We can still do little, little advice. Should in case, although snake farming generally does not need uh, extra too much uh, lecture or too much things, it's very easy. So, should in case you want to do anything like this, remember our number is 08036926718. If you are not in Nigeria, remember to put our country code plus 23480362. 36 92 57 18. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up. What do you think about the snake? You have a question? Why not? You can ask us. We give you, we we'll respond to you. We are 24 hours on, on WhatsApp. You can always chat on us. A respondent is there to respond to you. But always know that your satisfaction is our optimum desire. Thank you and do have a blessed day.